that the music was too low. Anyway, um, all right, so this is the highlight for uh, Theodoro. Hard difficulty, uh, whoops, well, pro EU4 player right there, <laughs> couldn't find the achievement button. So we got Gothic Invasion, Live Long and Prosper, we even have the ruler that uh, is currently, well, you'll see in a moment, and the decorating. Uh, we have the Pentarchy, and the, as I said, this is the ruler, a 76-year-old Empress. We had to kill four heirs before this, well, make them abdicate, but I don't know what that means. And we have the same dynasty in Russia, but no PU. It's fine, though. We are allied to Russia and Persia. Um, Persia really likes us. It's a very fat one, a very fat Arakan and Multan. And it is 1774. We have defeated Tuscany. They were glorious ones. Uh, we have fought the French many, many times. And of course, the Ottomans as well. As you can see, they expanded quite a bit. And I also did culture convert most of the provinces to Gothic. And as you can see, most of them will finish. However, I just finished with the Dutch provinces. And Zeeland, for example, will finish in 1802. And due to its 41 development that I cannot, uh, for some reason, lower, even though you would think that a city you could demolish some buildings or something, but not if you're not a horde. So they will have separatism until that time, and then it will take 410 months to culture convert. So unfortunately, we shan't be getting uh, gothic culture everywhere. I was not properly set up. And I could also finish a lot more of the Ottomans, France, finish off Italy. This is my client state, for example. But the reason why we're not doing that is because my absolutism went down by a bit because I tried to become a constitutional monarchy. My idea groups are religious, quality, economic, which I really, really recommend against the Ottomans, quantity, influence, admin, and offensive. And my first run, uh, for example, with the Ottomans, a world conquest, I took admin first because I was like, it synergizes so well. However, you start with a 5-5-6, so that's actually very foolish. Any World Conquest attempt, in my opinion, maybe except Austria, uh, should start with Religious for uh, those Volt, because of the minus 25 aggressive expansion the CB gives you. So we could do more, but uh, I won't, because I don't want to fight inefficient wars, as in not the wars would be inefficient, but uh, taking of the land. And of course, for some reason, even if we had rebels, it would cost 200 to quell them. And, uh, well, we still have points to tech up. We are doing quite well in tech. We use the Humulate CB uh, many, many times, and it's very good for small nations. So that was kind of it. The timeline is left, and then we can move on to the next campaign. So I will go at speed 3, you jump on Circassia, fabricate on them, you should have time. Remember to siege down their capital, set yourself a threat into the Great Horde, Muscovy at this point might accept an alliance. And I also rivaled this guy, but did not take his land because the previous game with Theodoro, uh, the Ottomans actually expanded here. So this game I wanted to block them as much as possible. At one point Genoa becomes my vassal, not quite yet. About now, when they lose uh, Corsica, and they still have Albenga here. So this is what prevented Tuscany, as you will see, from forming uh, Italy. I'm not sure if Italy is stronger than Tuscany or not. I have not played Italy except once many, many months ago. A bit of uh, snaking here. I wanted to get to the provinces needed for the achievement as fast as possible. And of course, I got blocked here because everyone was a tributary of Ming. So I didn't want to fight Ming for land I didn't really need. So as you can see, we're still going. Uh, Poland got attacked at some point. He had a PU over Bohemia, besides Lithuania, but everyone attacked him while he went for the Teutonic Order. Took the gold mine. Nothing is really happening here. Uh, released Pomerania to get his cores back. So that was a decent idea. And of course, this belongs to Bavaria. Released them as well. Took its cores back afterwards, and as you can see, Tuscany is growing. I tried to get a P over Naples, but no luck. And I was allied to the Netherlands for some time because I fought a series of uh, costly wars versus France, Tuscany, and the Ottomans at the same time, like they were allied. 
And I didn't take Constantinople here because I wanted to block them. And you will see some uh, rebels getting independence for just a second here, but then losing it because they had access through Poland, the Ottomans I mean. Or that was a while ago. Austria was my vassal, Brandenburg was my vassal, forgot to say. I didn't want to eat their provinces directly. And this was the part where I fought those long wars. And the forts in the mountains are pretty bad, so I blocked them like this. And slowly but surely Tuscany was no problem, but they were just as annoying as the French. Got the Pentarchy provinces from a random war with the Ottomans. And uh, some shenanigans happened here. A couple of client states of mine, because the duchies are too fat. And there we go. And as I said, we could keep going, make Theodore even prettier, although I'm enjoying my name placement. We are, of course, Orthodox. Uh, and the icon system is very good. We only have 9 loans, which we could easily pay off, because uh, while paying uh, our army of 300k, we still have money. And I am paying for a lot of forts as well, so even more money can be had if I do this. And since I don't have rebels and I have chooses with everyone, I could. And as I said, we could finish the Balkans, look even better, we could finish off Italy, eat a bit of France, but, uh, well, the achievement has been gotten, so there is literally no point. And as you can see, Karakoyun is still alive, because he was allied to Persia, and I kept farming him. Last war actually used the fact that uh, the Ottomans are guaranteeing him to test out a new mechanic I didn't usually do uh, test before, and that is uh, resetting the truces with these people because I had a 15 year long one and then I went for this guy, this guy joined, white pieced him and only 5 years and it already expired. But uh, due to the separatism I wanted, I got a constitutional monarchy for this guy but it wasn't enough so we still couldn't uh, culture convert to gothic. The rest of these well are quite doable but not Zealand sadly and uh, I'm not sure Possible Manchu banners plus four. I hope that's random. Let me check my own capital. Which we, of course, have moved to Constantinople. Yeah, so I guess it uh, shows that. I never checked. So that's it for the highlight for Theodora. So let's quit. Right.